Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another update for my planet, not planet palette, I always say this, for my project pan challenge, basically. First off, I want to apologize if you hear some construction work. They stop now, but our neighbor is doing God knows what, and it's very loud, it's very annoying, so rest assured that it annoys you as much as it annoys me. There it is. I hope I can edit it out as best as I can. It's kind of a sad update because I didn't use anything up. I mean, technically I use something up, but not... Like, oh, you will see it. There are no empty products in here. However, I did use up quite a lot of product in general. It's just nothing empty. And I also have... You know what? I'm going to start with this. This is the last product I have on my list, but... The deodorant, right? I've been using it every single day, right? And apparently, last month it had 48.85 grams. And now it is at 52.18. So I think I did something wrong. Because I remember... Last update, I was very surprised that it went down like 20 grams. <laughs> so uh, I guess it was 58 last month, and now it is 52. But it's still there, it's still leaking, there's still water in, I have no idea how it got there. I, I don't see how it could get wet. Maybe it's just melting because the bathroom is too warm. That is the only explanation I have, but still. It's still very grimy and I do not want to touch it, but... I'm using it, and I, I'm determined to use it up. That out of the way, that was the only doing like huh moment, because, you know, how does a product go up in weight? So anyways, um, starting from the top, we have the tea tree oil, which again, I have not been using as often as I should. I mean, it went down one gram, okay? It was at 30.21, and it's now at 29.20. It's still there. I really like this product, but if I finish it up, which I hope will be this year, I want to push something like this. It's just, I mean, I appreciate. Wait, hold on, it expires next month. Whoops, I didn't see that. So, um, I appreciate products like this, and it actually does work. You know, it helps with information. But seriously, I never think about this. If if I don't use it anyways, why would I push something like this? So, I appreciate the product, but I'm also happy when it's gone. I would not would push something like this. Also, my lips are very sticky. It's a what has the thing called? Hold on. I bought a gift set from. Hot. This is the juicy lip, maracuya juicy lip thing in rose. It's so sticky. Also, I don't want to say it's difficult to use, but it just melts all over. It's just. Again, I want to finish up. Maybe I could put this into a project pan. Next product is the hand cream that I'm currently using as a body lotion because I don't use hand cream. This was at 193.42 and it's down to. 122.28. I can actually see it. It's like it's like here. Okay, so we're doing doing very well. It works. Listen, I have used this as a hand cream, and it works just as fine as a body lotion as a hand cream. I'm just saying. it smells really good. It sinks in quickly. It makes my my skin smooth. I would not would purchase it obviously because it's a hand cream. I also have this one as the body lotion. Same size, same packaging, but bottle lotion. So if this is empty, I have a bunch of other bottle lotions to go through. Happy one's empty though. And I'm so happy I can finally see progress. Like how it has been. Last month was the first month where I could see progress and only because I used it as a bottle lotion now. So it has been, you know, before that it was like four or five months of not having any progress. I'm happy. I'm happy it's there. The lip scrub, which expires. In June, this was at 63.43 and it's now down to 62.78. Again, I didn't really use much. It always depends on, on how I use it, basically. You know, sometimes I, I always throw my, my finger in this, right? Sometimes I get a lot out, sometimes I don't get a lot out, and sometimes chunks fall out, sometimes they don't. It just depends. I use this twice a week or whenever I feel like my lips are too dry. If, if they're normal, I only use them twice a week. <sighs> it's okay. We're getting there. I will never finish this up by... You know, it's expiration date. We'll get in there. And I still like using it. It smells good. It really exfoliates your lips. What more can you wish for? The highlighter. This was 72.88 and now it's down to 72. That's what it looks like. The green is the only one that's left because the sapphire one actually broke. So I'm using green. I have it on right now. I know I have a rose, bronze y kind of look on. I have a green highlighter. The thing is, I only have one highlighter left, and it's this one. <laughs> so, as soon as I hit pan on it, I will buy another one. Uh, I have one in mind by Colourpop. I don't know what it's called. It's like a 
super shock highlighter, whatever. I never had one of those. I'm really excited. But Sikon Strong, no pen. It's definitely going down a little, but that's that. It went down, I mean, it went down 0.88 grams. That is a lot for highlighter. We're getting there. Like, I know I said this every time, but we are getting there. Slow progress is still progress. A little progress is also progress. Then uh, the blush trap palette, which I have been using. Remember in the last video where I said I would use this for a whole week straight from the 7th to 14th? I expanded that. I used it much, much longer than that. I had pan. I have expanded it over the days. Um, this was at 131 grams and it's now down to 130.29. I'm not using any of these shades. This included, so I'm only using Jade and... Oh, I forgot the name. Green. Green I haven't touched at all. Jade. Well, yeah, here we are. I'm actually really happy with Jade because I feel like it's just something different, right? I've been using so much blue and purple, so that the green one's really right up my alley, so... Progress is nice. I will definitely finish it up. I don't know when, but I will definitely. So, rest, rest assured, I will do that. This time, I don't have any goals for this. You know, like... There were like two months now where I said I want to use this for a whole week straight. I'm fine with with products I'm currently using, but if I ever feel like I want something green, I go back to this because I actually like that color, right? It's, it's so weird because I've been complaining about this for so long, and now it's like maybe I should use my blush trap palette again, see what different colors do to you. But yeah, um, I will probably not use this for a while now, but I will definitely go back to it. I have four more products left, only. Oh my god. Uh, the blush. Ah, this is one I want to talk about because what it looks like. This was at 20.78 and it's now down to 19.72, so over a gram less. I used this up. The thing is, it's beautiful, right? But the shape of the pants. <sighs> like, why, why, why do we have pants shaped like this? Do you know how it is to get in with a brush? Do you know how it is to get like in those nooks and crannies? Yeah, so uh, I've decided to call this quits. I have used it as much as I could without damaging my brush. And now I'm using this one, and it's just too dark for me. It's too dark and too shimmery. It looks like a bronzer, but it's still a bit too red. So I'm using it as an eyeshadow now. <laughs> Listen, you gotta, like, I love when pros are versatile like this, right? I think it looks nice as an eyeshadow. I sometimes use it all over the eyelid, and then I use Sleeper by Colourpop, the dark purple in the It's My Pleasure palette. On the outer corner, looks amazing. I also want to test out the Butterfly Collective Shadow Sticks from About Face with this one on top because that's like a like a terracotta, like a dark terracotta. And then put this one on top that gives it a bit of shimmer. I don't know, we will see. But I'm liking it so far. I like it more than as a blush. It's also very pigmented. I mean, do you see this? Do you see this? It's still there. And, you know, in the beginning I said, I used something up, but it's not really empty. I used this one up, but the pro like the packaging itself is not ready to be trashed. I'm happy with it though, I think it's a nice eyeshadow as well. And I feel like it would also be a very beautiful blush, but not for me. Which again, brings me back to Colourpop and the fact that I want to buy another blush from them. Give me what? I have a wish list from Colourpop. Well, not really a wish list, but I need a new blush, I need a new highlighter, and I need a new lip gloss. So. Why not Colourpop? Colourpop has rarely disappointed me. Granted, some shadows and different palettes are not that great, but overall, it's a good brand. So where was I? Powder. Jesus Christ, okay, look at it. Uh, this was 81.77 grams and it's now down to 80.73, so also on gram less. That is due to me being very clumsy and spilling it everywhere. I still don't like the smell of it. It smells like clown makeup. Like, like, not, not good. But it makes your skin very soft, like it feels very nice. But it just doesn't smell good. good. Happy one is empty. I know when that will be. And if I ever go on a vacation this year, I will not bring that with me. Imagine traveling with loose powder. Oh my oh my god. Just the possibilities of it actually exploding in your suitcase or in your makeup bag. Which uh, maybe I should also put a powder on my color pop wish list. I should do that as well. Okay. So two things left. I have my lipstick here. Yeah. KVD. Studded. Oh god, I forgot the name. Studded Kiss Cream Lipstick in OG Lolita. We're getting that. I mean, if you take the plastic away, which is this. What? 
It's not that much of This was at 24.86 and it's now down to 24.43. I've granted, I have days where I use this. You know, just like a little... What is this again? A balm? Or I use a lip gloss, so I don't put anything on my lips at all. We're getting there. Like, I've definitely made it more even. You know, it's not like the typical lipstick shade anymore. Shade? Lipstick shape anymore. So I'm, I'm working on that. I think it's nice, but I'm also kind of over it. Using it for that long. You know, as long as I have now. It's just... I'm just over it a little. Do you see this? Do you remember how big it was when it started? <laughs> this is the liner. This was 5. Point, well, I just spit. Jesus Christ. This was 5.71. It's added down to 3.08. I told you, you have to show me this every time you use it because it's just... It looks nice. But it's not nice to apply because, first off, it doesn't give up as much pigmentation as it does now because this is on my hand. You have to press it very hard, right? And the more you press, the more it just melts away. If that makes sense, I don't know, it's very weird to explain. But basically, every time I use it, I have to sharpen it, which is why it's so short and I used up two grams. More than two grams. I will continue to use it once I. I can actually, actually let me just do this. So, um, you can see that even without using something up, I still have a lot of progress. So, I will continue to use this once I go back to my blush drop palette because, believe it or not, uh, the two greens look very beautiful. This all over the eye, this on the other corner. Stunning. Anyway, that was it. Let me know how your projects are going. Let me, please, please tell me you used something up. Even if it's just one product. Because, I mean, I should have seen it coming because I used up so many products and only, uh, wait, what update is this? The si fifth? Sixth? Oh my god, numbers. The sixth update. Oh my god. We're halfway through already. Anyways, uh, I use up so much. You know, so much body lotion and, and other things. This was bound to happen, right? So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel already. And it's the next one.